why is Green Lantern still a bit of a sensitive topic for us? Well, because this was released on Twitter earlier this week. Who is that? That is a gentleman by the name of Wayne T. Carr, who Zack Snyder brought on for additional photography of Zack Snyder's Justice League, and he was going to play John Stewart. Look at that right there. That, I know it's just a mocap, but you look at the concept art, perfect. Chef's kiss. Love it. And you know if it's Zack Snyder, it's going to look good. Okay, but the thing that's special about Wayne T. Carr, he doesn't have any credentials. He is literally Daisy Ridley before The Force Awakens. And we saw what Daisy Ridley, what The Force Awakens did for her career. Okay, she was in that Kenneth Branagh movie about the mystery murder. Um, and then, of course, uh, you know, the Star Wars trilogy. And, you know, I, I'm not sure what she's up to, but I'm sure she's getting plenty of work. How many times do we talk about giving people, lesser known people, a chance? Imagine what this role could have done for a guy like Mr. Wayne Carr who is a teacher, his real job, day job, is a teacher, okay? And he impressed Zack Snyder enough to uh, give him a shot to be John, his John Stewart. And this was a photo from uh, Zack Snyder earlier. He talked about shooting on his driveway because Warner Brothers did not want to give him any more resources or power to make the Snyder Cut even better than the 2017 Justice League movie. So what does Zack Snyder do? Did he pout? Did he get on Twitter and say, you know, play the victim? No, he took matters into his own hands, and that is him shooting on his driveway, finishing his Snyder Cut. Remember that scene that you guys saw with Ben Affleck and Martian Manhunter? That was originally supposed to be Jon Stewart. And the fact that it's shot and Snyder has it, he's teasing us. He's teasing us. Now, why did I say Green Lantern is a you know touchy subject for us fans? Well, because we know what was supposed to happen in Snyder Cut. But this also happened earlier this week. Warner Brothers announced the first casting of their Green Lantern show, Guy Gardner, and the gentleman playing Guy Gardner, who, by the way, is like the fourth interesting Green Lantern, the fourth most interesting Green Lantern, in my opinion. But the guy playing him is Finn Wintrock from American Horror Story. But I know him from the big short. He was one of the of the uh, young men that Brad Pitt was helping out in the big short. That's where I know him from, but he's playing Guy Gardner. Now, the reason why Zack Snyder couldn't have his John Stewart was because Warner Brothers said they have plans for John Stewart. What do you mean? What 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 plans? Green Lantern, remember the movie was supposed to remember the original DC slate before Batman v Superman? Green Lantern was supposed to come out in 2020. It's May 2021 now. There were reports that the Green Lantern a TV show that Warner Bros. is working on, remember they had plans for Jon Stewart, was going to start shooting in April of this year. It's May. And now we're finally starting to hear about casting, casting uh, for Green Lantern. And look, I'm sure this guy is going to do a great job as Guy Gardner. My beef is, my quarrel is not with him. It's with Warner Brothers. Why couldn't you allow Zack Snyder to have his Jon Stewart in the movie? Is it really going to hurt your plans that much? Again, think about what this could have done for a guy like Wayne Carr with no acting credentials. It just it's stuff like that, that that frustrates me, okay? You say you have plans, but we haven't heard a damn thing. And now we finally have our first casting. He is one of multiple Green Lanterns. And it's just like, 
I don't know. Why do you have to be so difficult, Warner Brothers? Okay. I don't mean to sound entitled, like I'm entitled or anything like that. But it's like Marvel listens to their fans, you know? They take what they want into consideration, what they hope to see into consideration. For years, fans were asking about Red Skull. They wanted Hugo Weaving to return. And while they couldn't get Hugo Weaving back, what did they do with the Red Skull? They made him into the Soul Stone Keeper and brought him back in Infinity War and Endgame. How cool was that to see? Yeah, thank you, Sarju. Orient Express, which I haven't seen yet. Love the trailer. That Believer song from, uh, oh, man, what's their name? They did Radioactive, Radioactive. Um, Imagine Dragons, I want to say. But uh, Rachel here. They already had multiple versions of the same character, Superman and Lois, for example. So why not Green Lantern and multiple iteration? I'm with, yeah, look, it's a... Warner Brothers said this is a cul-de-sac. This is Elseworlds, okay? So if it's Elseworlds and you're championing the multiverse, what is wrong with that? Give Zack Snyder his his complete vision. Let Wayne, let the world see Wayne T. Carr and what he can bring in just five minutes of screen time. I mean, imagine what that could do for his career. Seriously. And um Shit, if I'm Zack Snyder, you know, if Warner Brothers wants nothing to do with me, then what's the problem with burning that bridge and just leaking leaking the scene, you know? Like, oops, somebody hacked into the uh, the the my computer or something and stole it or, you know, something happened, you know? I mean, what's the issue? Warner Brothers wants nothing to do with you anyway, so why not have a little fun? You got